Well, everyone, I'm still recovering from my heart operation, and therefore, you know, I'm doing what I got to do. But let me tell you something. You know, having a heart operation, most people would just be chilling. Well, I won't say that anymore. Relaxing. And a lot of people would be recovering and not doing a whole lot. Well, that's not me. I'm trying to fix my button, and I will. There we go. Ta-da! <laughs> but uh, here's the thing. I'm not going to just recover. I am getting better than I ever have been. But let me make some, something perfectly clear. I'm also going to keep fighting for what I believe in. And I believe that our government... And let's call it what it is. The Republicans are destroying the very fabric of our nation. Now, that doesn't mean that the Democrats in Congress are innocent. Oh, please. Quite frankly, both parties are destroying the fabric of our nation. It's true that some on the left are doing the right thing. There are even a few on the right doing the right thing. A few. But, you know, none of them, and I mean not one, not one amongst them, is really getting it done all the way. And as far as I'm concerned, Republicans can say what they want, that, you know, liberals are this, liberals are that. And liberals can say the same thing about the Republicans. But you know what I've noticed? It's a funny thing. I've noticed that there's still 40 million Americans going hungry every day. I noticed... That even when we had an all-democratic Congress, there were still 40 million Americans going hungry every day. And we have Trump in there that says he's going to make America great. But still, 40 million Americans going hungry every day. Hmm. I see that we have politicians of all parties campaigning, telling us great things. And how we're going to get our, our jobs back. And how we're all going to have a piece of the pie. And all of this. And we're going to educate the uneducated. And all these good things. And still, 40 million Americans going hungry every day. Now, now, now. The conservatives like to say, if you want to eat, you have to work for it. Well, let me get the memo to the brainwashed conservatives. I'm going to call it as it is. Not as I see it, but as the evidence shows it. That is the most asinine, outrageous, anti-Christian statement in the history of the planet. Number one, I would like to point out to my brothers and sisters on the far right how wrong and brainwashed you have become. Number one, not everybody on earth and everybody in America, not everybody has the mindset or the brain because there are disabled Americans. Some people, I guess, you just don't care about. Yeah, those disabled people. Mm hmm. Right. Well, maybe they can't work or maybe they're older adults or what we also call senior citizens. Maybe they're children. You ever hear them? Bottom line, your logic is completely flawed. Flawed. Now, I just heard a joker for fi five or six minutes on the conservative side talking about just because you want to earn more money doesn't mean we have to pay it. Well, lottie da lottie do. Like, we don't know that. But we do know that you should be paid for the amount of work that you do. You shouldn't be a slave, and you shouldn't be a servant. So as far as I'm concerned, the conservatives, please don't ever call yourself the religious right. Don't ever call yourself the moral majority. Don't ever call yourself family values.
In fact, don't even call yourself pro-life because you're pro-death. Republicans in Congress and conservatives, you are pro-death. Yeah, you're right. I just said it. You don't like it. I dare you to say something right now on this Facebook Live. Better yet, I dare you to give me a call because you are so full of it. You can have a whole hot air balloon contest in race. You are so full of it. There is not enough hot air or helium in the universe. Oh, do I sound a little bit ticked off? You got that right. You're full of it. You're liars. You're greedy. You're selfish. You're just deplorable. Yeah, I said it. Oh, no, I didn't just say deplorable, did I? Oh, Lord, I couldn't have said that. But I said it because it is true. You see, it's deplorable to call yourself a lover of God or a believer of God and then at the same time allow 40 million Americans to go hungry or to make stupid statements like um, just because they want more money, they, sh they shouldn't be forced. I mean, we shouldn't pay it. Actually, most people don't want a handout. Most people want to earn it, but they don't want to be a servant and they don't want to be enslaved. And as far as I'm concerned, you are all brainwashed. Do you think our economy is better during a conservative administration? Really? Why don't you utilize that thing called Google and maybe look at the history? Overall, our country's economics, and by the way, you and your family do better under quote unquote liberal and democratic administrations. But that doesn't give a free pass to the Democrats. No, I'm sorry. Even though I might like you, even though I may want Senator Elizabeth Warren to be our next president in 2020. Senator Warren, trust me, I'm watching and you're doing a good job right now. You're actually fighting the good fight. You are standing up for what it means to be a patriot. And, Bar you know, Bernie's doing okay. But make no mistake, I'm watching those videos. I'm listening. I'm looking at text. And you know what? Senator Elizabeth Warren, you're doing pretty well. But your colleagues, the Democrats, a lot of the other Democrats, you guys and gals in Congress, you are acting cowardly. And you Republicans in Congress, you are acting evil. I even dare say traitorous. Oh, you don't like those words, I guess, huh? I don't really care. There are 40 million Americans going hungry. There are people dying from lack of access to health care in every state of, in America due to Republican legislators, governors, and policies. Due to Republicans in D.C. Now, the Democrats, you're not perfect. There's a lot of you that have control well maybe not a lot but a few and you're not doing all that now to the person that says well why is it that we have to pay for universal or single-payer health care why albert why why can't they get off their lazy butt and do it themselves excuse me for the language well a lot of people can't do it and then there is the logic that you should have my conservatives across the aisle, but of course you don't. You assume that just because somebody wants a job and maybe they're qualified, maybe they're even overqualified for that job, that doesn't guarantee them the job. So why is it that all of you want to act like buffoons and act like you can deny evidence? You know, if a window is broken, and you say, well, it's really not broken. It's just a new way to get some air conditioning in the summer. Or it's a way to let the wind in in the winter. No, it's a broken window. Fix it. You want to call me liberal? You want to call me partisan? Police. Your own boy, Carl Rove, said when appropriate he was going to be partisan. Well, let me tell you something. There has never in the history of this planet been a better time to be partisan. But I'm not partisan. No. No, ma'am. No, sir. I am a patriot.
And I am a believer of the Lord Jesus Christ. I believe in God. I believe in Jesus Christ. A lot of fakers out there talk about they are the, the party of family values. They're pro-life. Like Hades they are. You know what pro-life means? It actually isn't what you all look you like to pretend it is. No, sir. No, ma'am. What it is is allowing people to have a chance in the race of life, the fair chance in the race of life. By the way, that was said by a Republican. You may have heard of his name. He was a guy named Abraham Lincoln. You see, what's happened to the Democratic and Republican parties is neither side, neither side has any brains anymore. It's like your zombies in D.C., your zombies in Harrisburg, your zombies in Sacramento, your zombies wherever you are. We have gotten a government filled with zombies now. Just like in the movies. They are, the only thing is they don't look like it, but they act like they have no brains for the majority of them. Now, there's some good people out there. That's right, Senator Warren. Bernie's doing all right. Representative John Lewis and a few others. And you know what? There used to be a really good Republican, but they somehow, let's just say he had an accident, and he was a pretty decent Republican for the most part. You ever hear of Senator John Hines? And look where he's at. He's in the great beyond. There used to be some really good Republican presidents, but they're in the great beyond. What we have now is both sides are too extreme. Now, let me explain something to you. At some point, we are going to have to go extremely ex to the extreme left just to balance out what we're doing and what down. And for those of you who are conservative, who don't buy what I'm selling, who think that I'm full of it, why don't you look at the history of this country economically? You'll find out that the liberals make it a better time for you and me. Now, are they perfect? Help, please. There's not one government that's ever done their job. But you will have to go to the extreme left. Oh, please, Frank, I'm sorry. With all due respect, get real. Get real. Obama was a good man. In case you forgot, Frank, we started out with like 8% unemployment when Obama came in. That man brought it down to 4.9%. You cannot dispute the facts. You don't have to like it, but you do have to accept it. Because facts are facts. They don't change for anybody, whether you're on the left or right. The facts are the facts. And I stick with the facts. Or like the old Dragnet series used to say, just the facts, ma'am. See, Frank, you can argue all you want. Or anybody out there. And I'm not picking on Frank, but I'm going to let you know when you're wrong. You can argue all you want. But the fact is, Obama brought unemployment down. Okay? He brought it down. And you can change and you can try to make things up, but it will not work. And just as I said, if a window is broken, to use it as an analogy, if your window is broken and you try to say, well, it's actually not really broke, it doesn't make it be fixed. I'm not going to accept the left or the right lying anymore. So, Frank, it will do you no good to give me the baloney because I'm not eating it. I know the truth, okay? Because I watched it every day. And I know about the homeless people out there and the homeless veterans. Let me see the Democrats get off their behinds in D.C. and around this entire nation and the Republicans. Get off your behinds and do something about the fact we have homeless veterans. And don't give me that. Well, they may choose to be homeless. Bull crap. No, Frank, it's not working anymore. So if you have a problem with the truth, then you and I have a problem. And my problem is, I still like you, I'll still talk to you, but I will not listen to the lies or the spin. Not from the right or the left. I'm not in love with the Democrats, and if you think I am, you're drunk. Anybody. And that was not to you, Frank. That's anybody who believes I'm in love with the Democrats. You have got to be kidding yourself. You have obviously not watched my TV series, Humanity Matters Live. Because I can tell you right now, I jumped on the Democrats just as badly as I jumped on the Republicans. When you're doing wrong, I'm going to let you know. 
And it is wrong to allow homelessness in America. It is wrong to allow hunger in America. It is wrong to make stupid, idiotic, brainwashed statements that just because somebody wants to have more money doesn't mean we have to pay it. That video was incredibly ridiculous. Incredibly ridiculous. Now, the fact is that Obama brought down unemployment. The fact is we had lower gasoline or fuel or petrol prices for the last couple of years. That's a fact. Now it's starting to rise up again in Pennsylvania and elsewhere. That is a fact. It is a fact that we've been using more gas. It's a fact. I mean, like, you know, natural gas. It's a fact we were using greenhouse. I mean, excuse me, not greenhouse, but green technology. And it's also a fact that since Republicans and Democrats always talk about good American jobs or bringing back America, maybe we ought to look at and examine some reality here. The reality is that America, once again, is going to get shortchanged, and it's their own fault. If we allow Trump to bring the coal and the oil back or even increase it, yeah, in the short run, it may seem like a good idea, but actually, it is horrendous. It's a horrendous idea. But here's the thing. Right now, as we speak, Germany and China and many other countries are on the forefront of solar and wind technology and others. That is billions, if not trillions of dollars that we could be involved in developing and your families could be earning. But why aren't we doing that? Well, because, let's be honest, both parties, almost every politician is bought and paid for by some industry or lobbyist. I'm not here to make it pretty for you, people of the right or the left. I'm here to tell you what time it is, and I'm dang tired of poverty in America and around the globe. What am I going to do about it? What's little old fat Albert going to do about it? You haven't seen anything yet. See, I'm going to make sure that I get wealthy, one human at a time. I'm going to get there. And those of you who have the common sense to come in and understand that I know what I'm talking about. You're going to have to work like me. You're going to have to take it serious like me. And if you do, you will benefit like me. But I'm in. I, let me let me put it to you bluntly as nicely as I can. I'm at war. Yeah, you know, like boom, 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 war. But I'm going to use my voice. I'm going to be legal, peaceful, ethical, and financial. But no, make, make no mistake. I intend on having my victory. And there's not a human on earth that's going to stop me. You see, because I do believe in the Lord thy God. And we can write whatever we want. We can say whatever we want. But we have to answer to a God. And for the atheist out there, guess what? You're going to answer to. I love you. But believe me, God's real. How do I know? How about we go with April 24th, 2017? I just got sliced open on Monday with my heart. And I'm here. And I am so fired up right now. I'm containing myself. If I told you and I showed you how fired up I was, your ears would be burning. Because I can shout so loud right now. I'm so grateful to God. And I am so determined to change this nation if I have to one human at a time. And I will do it. It's not delusional, baby. It's going to be done. And let me tell you something. I got a little old show on a public access channel. And I don't get many viewers. Or if I do, it doesn't seem like it. If PCTV or anybody on this planet thinks they know the real Albert, I just survived another heart operation, okay? You might want to sit there and pay attention to what I'm doing. And as far as my gaming organization I told you all to get into, please, those of you who get in, the only thing I'm going to say to you, those of you who do get in and, and actually listen, learn, and do it your way and our way, and we work together, those of you who have the common sense to do that, and I ain't trying to cut on you, believe me, I'm not, but those of you who see the vision, 
you're going to have your Microsoft moment if you really do the job. Now, those of you who ignore it, those of you who want to fight about politics, disagree with me or agree with me, I'm not looking for a yes woman or yes man. I'm looking for results. Something that D.C. and every state legislator apparently wants to pick their nose and not have. But I'm looking for results. So I'm looking for leaders in, in either of my businesses. Those of you who think you can lead, come and talk to me. 412-559-2731. Those of you who want to disagree with me politically, come and talk to me. 412-559-2731. Those of you who want to change your life for the better and not worry about the Democrats in D.C. or the Republicans or, or, the, or the knuckleheads. Whatever you're doing in life, I don't care if you have one job or 100. Make some time for what I'm asking you to do. Because I'm telling you, I am financially, legally, ethically, and peacefully going to make changes. Massive, massive changes. And as far as I'm concerned, my TV show on PCTV, it's on a deadline. Because very soon, I'm going national, baby. Uh, and in case anybody's wondering, well, how in the world is he going to do that? He sure ain't all that good. He ain't all that good. Whatever you have in your mindset, there's not a person on earth that's going to stop me. Not an organization, not a network, nobody. Now, arrogance, no. Confidence, not really. You see, it's not going to be me doing it, my friends. I'm doing it through God's help. And I am going to do it. Just a little breaking news. I made a call to a network. Yeah, you know, like an ABC, CBS kind of thing. I got a call back. You heard what I said. I got a call back. So it's only a matter of time before you see my mug in a lot of places. But let me give a warning to the politicians out there of all parties. If you think because you have a D... Or you're an independent. I'm giving you a pass. You have a better chance of winning the Powerball for the rest of your life every freaking week. I'm not giving you a pass. I didn't give President Obama a pass, and I liked him. I didn't give Clinton a pass, and I liked him. I didn't give Bush a pass, and there were some things that he did right, and there was times that I liked him. I'm not giving you a pass, Facebook, my friends. I'm not giving me a pass. When I do wrong, I will cuss my own self out. I don't care what it seems like. I don't have time to give you a pass. And neither do you. I want you to live. I want Frank and Michelle to live. And right now, we are not really living. We are alive physically. But when we have to work every day and be a servant or a slave every day to a job that doesn't really do us right or we are extremely talented and we don't get our big break as one of the world's best vocalists. That's right, Michelle. One of the world's best vocalists isn't having, you know, she's not a household name yet, but the Mish will be because I believe in her. Or maybe, Frank, I don't know what your job is, but you're worth more than it. So those of you who think somehow I'm delusional or I can't cash that check, maybe I'm a little bit wound up. But let me tell you something. There's been a lot of people who told me I couldn't do stuff in the past. A lot of people said I couldn't achieve it, and I made it come to pass, but actually... God made it come to pass. You see, I believe in the Lord that God. I believe in Jesus Christ and the Holy Spirit. And, you know, a funny thing happened. On April the 24th, God seemed fit to keep me around. So I must be doing something right. Now, let me tell you something about Frank. He's a nuclear welder. And I love Frank. I may not agree with him politically, but I love him spiritually. But I'm going to tell Frank and the most right-wing and left-wing human being on the planet, you've been lied to. You have false facts, even. But that's okay. 
I love you. Did you hear that? Open your ears. Now, that means I have to be tough on me and you. Now, I think it's great that Frank's doing what he's doing. But I want Frank to own his own business. Because then Frank is in charge. And he can save and change lives. Now, let me throw down something. And I'm going to smack it down as easy as I can. I'm in two great organizations, the Gaming One and the Health and Wellness. And I'm telling you right now, if I had to choose between everything I do, everything, everything I do, including my TV show, if I had to drop everything in it, I could only do one. It would probably be a very hard decision, but I would have to go with Star Prime Gaming. Yes, I would normally say humanity matters a lot. But in this case, knowing what I know, what's going to happen, there's not a human on earth that could get me to leave Star Prime Gaming. That's right. The Star Prime Gaming Video Club, the one that I tell you you can get in for free and all that, it is a lifestyle. It is not just what you think it is. Okay, but... I'm not here to try to sell it. I don't need to. In fact, I will, I will tell all of you something. Five years from now, you will be in this organization. Whether you hate gaming or you love it, you're going to be in. Whether you're with me or not, that remains to be seen, but you're going to be in it. This is going to be like the new Facebook of gaming. And you might think, well, how can he say that? I have details that I'm not allowed to say. But let me throw this down for you. You bring yourself in for free. You train for free. And you enter into the tournaments. And we have three of them coming up in May. But as you decide that you love it and you have fun, you're going to want to bring people in. And when you do, and when they join the tournaments, eventually, things are going to happen and you're going to be surprised. Now, when you get to certain levels, for example... When you get 2,500 people to come in, and each one of them has played at least one tournament, and you reach 2,500, you are going to end up with a free, yeah, I hope your ears are open, a free 65-inch HD 4K $5,000 television. And that's just one of the prizes. That's the, the eighth prize. That's right. When you get... 2,500 people in our organization, which is free to join, free to train, and very low cost to enter into the tournaments. And the tournaments, yes, of course they have big prizes. But when you get 2,500, you earn a $5,000 65-inch color TV. I didn't say you win it. I didn't say you're entered into some kind of a entry or whatever. No, you get it. As in, let me put it to you in a diff from a different perspective. <clears throat> when Frank goes to work in his profession, he does the work. And every week or every two weeks or whatever it is, he gets paid. Well, when you get your 2500 you will be sent or given a certificate. I'm not exactly sure the mechanism. I didn't ask. But you will get that television when you get your 2500 Oh, and it does get better, but that's not the point of today. The point of today is saving lives. I am telling you right now, we're about saving lives. Look, I don't have to agree with everything Frank says, and I don't want him to agree with everything I say. But spiritually, I love Frank. And as far as Michelle is concerned, I consider her to be one of the best vocalists around. And it's time she gets the respect and notoriety. Because if she doesn't, I'm going to have to have my loud mouth even louder. And believe me, this is low key. Even when I get fired up here on Facebook, I never go all out. Because if I did, your ears would probably burst. I know you think that's, that's boasting. No, 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 I'm not. Look, the Lord blessed me with some, somehow I've been blessed. I can't explain it. With a, a, a good voice for projecting. Let's put it that way. But here's the thing. Do you want to know why I'm... I can't stand Republicans in Congress? 
and many Democrats in Congress because we still have homeless veterans. We still have people who put their lives on the line and defended this nation and every person in this nation. And there's still today people defending us. And yet when they come home, a percentage of them become homeless, homeless veterans. That is an abomination. So I don't care if you're a liberal. I don't care if you're a green. I don't care if you're a libertarian. I don't care if you're a Tea Party. I don't care if you're a Republican, Democrat. I don't care. We need to end homelessness and hunger in America. And yeah, we need to make sure everybody has health care. There's a lot of people out there that can't get work, whether they want it or not. What are we supposed to do? Throw them in the trash? I'm going to leave you with this. If you are a person of faith, or if you think you are, isn't it true that Jesus, for those of you who are Christians, didn't Jesus feed people when they needed it? And didn't Jesus quit? He didn't really go around rejecting people. Not, not much, right? So why is it that our government is doing what they're doing to us. And I will tell you this. The Democrats are just as guilty on a lot of levels. The left and the right. Because of this lobbyism. This money. This ability with Citizens United and others. To basically steal our government from us. And we are the people. We are the ones. Frank and Albert and Michelle and all of you. We're the bosses in this country. But yet we act like the babies who are having to have them put the diapers on us. We are the parents of America, but we are letting the children run it. And I don't know about you, but I think we can agree that all Democrats in D.C. and all Republicans in D.C. for the last 10 or 12 years have been acting like children, spoiled little partisan babies. I'm sorry. I'm going to include every single one of them. Whether I like them or not, you haven't gotten a job done. And until people are actually able to survive, until there is zero unemployment, and the American dream becomes a reality for most, until that happens, I will not remain silent. And those of you who think that I can't deliver, I hope you keep thinking that. I really do. I pray that you keep thinking that. Because if you think for one minute, I'm standing down. I don't know what you're drinking. But whoever likes drinking might want to get it from you. Because if you think I'm standing down, there is no way on the planet. Now, I strongly suggest that those of you on the right start calling up one 224 Three one two one. You might want to call your congressman and your senator or congresswoman. Or you might even want to call the White House and let them know your views. Of the White House, yeah, one two zero two 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 four three one two one. Because I do, and I sign at least five to six thousand petitions a year. You see, I don't just talk the talk, brothers and sisters. I walk the walk, and Trump will not be in office for the entire four years if we can legally, ethically, peacefully, and financially change it. He doesn't deserve it. There are a lot of Republicans out there who do not want him in there. But if he is, we're going to do everything we can legally, peacefully, ethically, and financially. But if he does remain in there for four years, most of you listening now are going to be laid off outsourced, or fired. And I'm sorry if that makes you feel bad. Your jobs will be gone. That's right, gone. In any profession. If we keep Trump in there, you can forget about your jobs. Oh, and you're probably wondering, how do I back that up? I'll leave you in suspense now, but I will back it up. I can back it up right now if I wanted to, but I don't want to. You see the Walmart people will be laid off or replaced. The welder will be outsourced. 
And I'm sorry if I'm smacking you right in the head. If we do not legally, peacefully, ethically, and financially do something about this man and this government, there will be no jobs. You you know, I'm sorry, Frank, I got to smack you on this one, legally and peacefully, and ethically, and financially. Well, not financially, but peacefully and ethically. If you think that Trump is doing a great job, I'm sorry, brother, but you are extraordinarily delusional. You better check yourself into a hospital. If you think he's doing a great job, I wonder when you'll what you're going to say when you get fired from your job. I bet you're not going to think he's doing a great job then. Your job is going to be gone if the Republicans get their way and Trump gets his way. Oh, and that goes for Tony, too, or Anthony. Now, you may not like what I have to say. But you can write it down in your notebook, on your computer, or wherever you write it down this day, the 28th and the 29th of April. Go ahead. Save this. Write it down. If Trump and the Republicans get their way, say goodbye to your jobs. Period. They don't care about you. They never did. And guess what? Most Democrats in office don't care about you. They never did. Now, I love Anthony, in a spiritual way. And I love Frank. But that doesn't mean I won't tell you the truth. If you're looking for me to placate to you, forget it. To be nice to you when you need some tough love, you can forget it. I'm going to be tough. And how do I know you're going to lose your job? Well, I guess I'll be nice and I'll let you know. Because automation, outsourcing... And automated like robots and those automated uh, machines, all that. It's coming. It's coming, brothers and sisters. We already have automated cash machines or, or tellers or cashiers in Walmart. Pretty soon, they're going to have robots doing the stocking. Oh, you don't have to believe me. But it's coming. It may not be this year, but it will be soon. And automated voicemails and customer service, you better believe it. So if you have common sense, you may have a job paying you a million dollars a year. You may have a job paying you three million. But if you have the common sense and the vision, I strongly suggest you get an additional income and start your own business. I don't care if it's selling hamburgers in a food truck. I don't care if you're selling popcorn on the street. Get an additional income where you are the owner. Because if you don't, you will be unemployed. You will be without money. That, sir, that ma'am is a fact. You don't have to like it. It's not funny, Tony. That's not even funny. You see, Anthony, I don't want you to be losing your job. Because I do love you and care about you. I mean, I agree with you politically. It's not funny, Tony. The robots and the automated systems are coming. And there are going to literally be hundreds of millions of jobs gone throughout this planet. So if you don't take heed of what I'm saying now, how will you feed your family when it comes to pass? Because it is coming. And as far as these higher level income jobs or skills like Frank has. You better believe they're going to be amongst the first to go. Why? Because you get too much money. They'll first, they're going to outsource you to another country if they can. That's what's going to happen first. Then they're going to automate and they're going to outsource humans altogether. You think I'm wrong? You want to bet your life and your livelihood on it? How about this? Get some common sense and get moving and get yourself a business. Whether it's the gaming thing I'm in, health and wellness, or selling shoes, I don't care. Get it done. Or as in they used to say, I think Larry the Cable Guy or somebody, so I'll, I'll do a little Larry the Cable Guy. I can't say it like him, but get her done. That's right, everybody. Get her done. 
Now, my name is Albert Tocasso, and if you think I'm going to stand down Democrats and Republicans, you have a better chance in winning that little Powerball. Now, I'm going to get going, y'all, but it's time to get rid of the pain and start to use your brain.